Good morning, friends. Greetings and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body, you are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That is why we are here every day on the Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 31 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like acne and psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, rosacea, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment basis, and while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health, nutrition, prescription drugs, if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we are here for you. We welcome your phone calls on the bright side, 844-236-6010 is our number, 844-236-6010. If you have questions about anything we're speaking about here today, we've been talking fluoride and bromine and hypothyroidism now for Ah, for a couple of weeks, actually. If you have any health issues dealing with the thyroid, adrenal glands, if you're dealing with hot flashes, did you know your hot, your hot flashes are signs of adrenal dysfunction? Hot flashes, postmenopausal or perimenopausal or menopausal hot flashes are a sign that your adrenal glands are frying out. That's how you want to deal with hot flashes, is by working with adrenal health and working with thyroid health for that matter. If you have questions about anything we're speaking about here today, comments, success story you'd like to share, 844-236-6010 is our number, 844-236-6010. Try to call in early so we can get to as many calls as possible. If you want to sign up and join the Brightside Ben team, help me in my mission to educate the world about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program. If you found that nutritional supplementation has helped you out in your life, share the words, share the message, spread the word, make a little money at the same time, start a business. That's what business should be about. It's about business should be about helping people, and this is a great opportunity to help to help folks and to make some money too. If you're an entrepreneur, this is a perfect business for you. You can work out of your home, make as much or as little, uh, work as, as little or as much as you want, make as much money or as little money as you like. You can write off your home office, earn tax benefits associated with having your own business all while you're helping change the world at the most fundamental level, the level of personal health and well-being. Call 866-735-2470 for more info, 866-735-2470, or head to brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. Sign up right off the website. You can also, of course, purchase your Longevity products at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com. Also want to remind you to check out our Truth Treatment products at truthtreatments.com, Truth Retinol 5% Gel, Truth Serum, Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream, and our Truth Balm, now available, Truth Transdermal C Balm and Truth Transdermal C Serum are now available in trial sizes if you want to uh, just kind of check the products out. There's also, uh, we're also offering free shipping for the month of December. Check out all our Truth Treatment products, Truth Retinol 5% Gel, Truth Transdermal C Serum, Truth Transdermal C Balm, Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream, all formulated by me, myself, based on my 35 years of formulating skin health products in a dermatological setting, in a pharmacy setting. These are the, the culmination of everything I know about how you treat the skin topically, and there are a lot of things you can do There are a lot of things you can do to treat the skin topically. You can anti-age the skin topically. You can eliminate fine lines and wrinkles topically. You can help clear up acne blemishes topically. You can lighten the skin, lighten the tone of the skin topically. Keeping in mind, of course, skin health is like anything else. The health of any other organ in the body starts off internally. But there are things you can do topically if you know what you're doing as a formulator. And uh, it took me 30 plus years of working with broken skin, uh, uh, helping heal broken skin, helping heal eczematous, acneic skin. 
uh, helping heal wounded and traumatized post-surgical skin. And uh, it took 30, 30 plus years to come up with the, the ideas that you, uh, that you can leverage in my truth treatment products. You can find it all about them at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Okay. We've been talking the last few days about the elements, the various elements that can interfere with thyroid hormone functioning. Quick, uh, quick review: Thyroid hormone hormone is made up of three to four, three or four little pieces of iodine, and this is why you may have heard that iodine is. You probably have heard that iodine is important for thyroid health. Most folks know that iodine it plays a role in the health of the, of the thyroid. It's really, it, it's important for the production of thyroid hormone. Iodine, that's really where iodine shines. It's probably important for the gland itself, but really uh, hypothyroidism is a hormonal issue at the end of the day. It means the hormone's not, there's either not enough hormone or it's not active. It's just somehow not doing its work. And under conditions of uh, a weak thyroid hormone and under conditions of iodine deficiency causing weak thyroid hormone, the body will attempt to use other elements that look like iodine if there's other elements around. And so you can get a kind of hypothyroid. This, this problem can also uh, be the result of too much of these look-alike elements. Bromine, we spent a couple, day, a couple days talking about bromine and bromide as being a look-alike element under conditions of iodine deficiency. The look-alike element will take over, uh, will replace the iodine in the thyroid hormone. And you'll get thyroid hormone being made, but it'll be weak. It won't work. It won't do what it's supposed to do. And you'll end up with dry skin, digestive issues, depression, atherosclerosis, pretty much anything, autoimmunity, cancer, pretty much anything is possible once thyroid hormone's not working correctly. It's the jumping off point to all chronic disease. It's the third point on the triangle of disease. And that's why you don't even need to bother getting your thyroid checked if you are dealing with a chronic disease. You can rest assured your thyroid is messed up. It's silly, it's a waste of time, it's a waste of money. You don't need to go get your thyroid checked if you're dealing with a chronic degenerative disease. You can assume you're hypothyroid, because you are. Which means, by working on the thyroid correctly, you could do a lot of good for your multiple sclerosis, or for your myasthenia gravis, or for your heart disease, or, for your, uh, or to prevent any of these things from happening. Working on the thyroid can, can help with every other, uh, can help improve the symptoms of anything that's going wrong in the body. And conversely, if your thyroid hormone's not working correctly, likewise, anything can go wrong in the body. And bromine can do it. Excessive ingestion of bromine, and it's all over the place. If you're eating white bread, you're at higher risk for hypothyroidism. If you're eating white bread, you're at higher risk for, for heart disease or anything else that follows hypothyroidism. White bread being a source of brominated flour. There's bromine in, in your Mountain Dew. If you're drinking lots of Mountain Dew, same thing. So, uh, by the way, there's an interesting aspect with, uh, when it comes to the skin and bromine. Too much bromine in the, in the skin, or too much bromine in the body, is associated with cystic acne. And this is why iodine can help you if you're dealing with cystic acne. On the other hand, this is really important. Now, keep uh, what I'm going to say now is really, really important, especially if you're in the skin business or if you're an esthetician. I know I've got a lot of estheticians listening. If, you, uh, if you've been deficient in iodine for a while, and most people, or at least many people, are going to be max, or not going to have the maximum amount of iodine or the, the optimum amount of iodine that they need, bromine can accumulate. And then you try and take your iodine. You hear, you, you listen to the bright side and say, oh, I'm going to start supplementing with iodine. And uh, you've been exposed to bromine for a while. Bromine is accumulating in your tissues. You take your iodine. The iodine may knock the bromine out. And so temporarily, you may end up with a temporary bromine toxicity issue. So the bromine gets knocked off by the iodine. The bromine levels go up temporarily until it's excreted. And hopefully it's excreted. The kidneys are, you gotta have healthy kidneys, by the way. Anyway, the bromine accumulates, you break out, and you blame the iodine. And this is really, what, this is a true thing. I mean, this is a, a real thing in the world of skincare. There's a lot of people in the world of skincare, and I hear this all the time, oh, iodine causes acne. No, it does not cause acne. Iodine is an essential nutrient. Essential nutrients don't cause acne. And oh, by the way, you can't be allergic to iodine either. I'll tell you what I mean when we come back from our break. I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back right after this. Don't go away. Okay. 
Tuesday, we are back on the bright side. I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. We have lines open for you. If you've been uh, left on hold in the past or we didn't get to you in the past, now's the time to get on board and tell our call screener that we've left you on hold and we'll get you first up at at uh, 844-236-6010. I am Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific and 10 to 11 Central Time, 24-7 on the archive pages at benfuchsarchives.com and brightsideben.com. Got lots of good information on both websites. Thank you, by the way, to Peter in the UK for setting up benfuchsarchives.com. We, uh, we have a search engine up on the on uh, benfuchsarchives.com as well as brightsideben.com. And um, you can also purchase longevity products at brightsideben.com, criticalhealthnews.com, and pharmacistben.com. You can sign up to join the Brightside Ben team as well. Or you can call the phone team at 866-735-2470 for more information. If you want to purchase any of our Truth Skin Health products, if you're dealing with blemish skin or, or aging skin, retinol is your go-to active ingredient. You'll get 5% retinol. You're not going to find that in very many other products. In fact, the only one I know of is a product, another product that I formulated for another company. I first discovered the power of retinol in uh, when I was working for Blistex. Back in, you know, when I started studying skin, we didn't really know a lot about the skin. That was, this was the 1980s. We didn't really know a lot about the skin until the 1990s and even early 2000s. The 1980s were kind of a dark age of skin care, of, of topical skin care. And I, got, I, I was fortunate to study, from, study the business or study chemistry, skin chemistry, from a real genius who, who understood medicinal chemistry for the skin. He, the guy who invented Blistex, he actually he was a, a skin medicinal chemist. And he taught me that you could actually manipulate tissue. That's really what it's about when you're, when you're anti-aging the skin topically. What you're looking for is to manipulate tissue. I know tissue sounds like a fancy schmancy biological term, it just means stuff. To ma manipulate the stuff of the skin. You want to make it happen, you want to make it grow. You want to make something happen in the skin. That's really what skin health or skin topical skincare should be about, making things happen on the skin. Cosmetic chemists don't do that. Cosmetic chemistry is not the chemistry of making things happen. Cosmetic chemistry is the chemistry of making you think things are happening without them really happening. That's really what cosmetic chemistry is about. It's about fooling you, trickery, smoke, some, smoke and mirrors. That's why most people, the vast majority of people, are not satisfied with their skincare. It's smoke and mirrors. In order to uh, get an effective topical product, you have to really make things happen in the tissue. You have to know what you're doing. You have to be a biochemist, or at least have a love of biochemistry. I was very fortunate and I was trained by somebody, but I, I, I took that understanding and I and actually experimented in the pharmacy setting with broken skin. And what I saw was that if you can drive the production of skin and skin factors, things in the skin, you will not only heal the skin if it's burnt, you will not only uh, uh, improve the look of the skin or the health of the skin if there's eczema, you'll also anti-age the skin, you'll have healthier skin. And that's what the truth is. That, that's the truth, and that's what truth treatments are about. It's about having healthier skin, which means beautiful skin, skin with more collagen, skin with more elastin, both healing fibers, skin with more moisture factors, which are, are produced as a result of upregulating, making things happen on the skin. That's how you get moisture factors. When you have dry skin, you're just not making the moisture factors. Dry skin is a biochemical issue. It's not a cosmetic issue. And if you're buying your dry skin product where you buy cosmetics, no wonder why it's not working. Of course, it's even worse than that because most cosmetic products su suppress skin moisturization. Anyway, truthtreatments.com, you'll find biochemically active, tissue stimulating, stuff happening, active ingredients and products at truthtreatments.com or Truth Retinol 5% Gel if you're dealing with blemished or anti-age or uh, aging skin or Truth Transdermal C Serum or Truth Transdermal C Balm if you want vitamin C for your skin and our Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream if you're looking to heal or soothe anything in the skin or if you want, if you really want to bump up moisturization, skin softening. They're all up at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Okay, so bromine toxicity, we're talking, uh, early, uh, before we went to break, we were talking about how you take iodine and bromine can get bumped off. This, this can cause a kind of functional bromine toxicity. Essentially, you'll end up with st things that are associated with too much bromine, such as cystic acne, mood problems, 
Um, that's the big one. Skin, the skin problems are, are the big problems, but you can also have bipolar issues, emotional issues, digestive issues. Bromine is just a big mess. Sometimes people will take iodine, go into these bromine issues, and say they're allergic to iodine. You can't be allergic to iodine. Say it twice because I hear it so many times. You can't be allergic to iodine. Just because you break out or you feel lousy after you supplement with your iodine, that's not the sign of an allergic reaction. You can't be allergic to an essential substance. That's like, being, uh, that's like saying I'm allergic to air. Oh, I can't breathe air. I'm, I'm allergic to air because every time I breathe, I just don't feel good. Well, that doesn't mean it was the air. You can't be allergic to something that your body needs. Iodine is as essential as air. No one's allergic to iodine. Now, you can be allergic to seafood, which contains iodine. Yes, that's true. But you can't be allergic to an essential mineral, period. If you're dealing with the signs of bromine toxicity, uh, bromine dominance, some people will call it, acne, bipolar issues, uh, or digestive issues, those are the main ones. You can do a bromine detox, but keep in mind that you may, because you're going to knock some bromine off, you may notice that your symptoms get a little worse before they get better. Keep going. Use your ultimate selenium. Use your BTT. Selenium is a chelating agent, so is vitamin C, which is in the BTT. Both, chel both selenium and, and the BTT have chelating properties that can help pull the bromine out of your body. Fucoid Z, likewise, can help pull the bromine out of your body. MSM, sulfur, alpha lipoic acid. Probiotics can be chelating. They can help pull the bromine out of your body, help you detoxify from bromine. Really, you want to make sure your digestive system is working really well if you're uh, going to go through a bromine detox. Algae, green leafy veggies. Chlorophyll is one of the all-time great detox substances. You can buy liquid chlorophyll. It's unreal for detoxification. You can tell how good chlor uh, chlorophyll is for detoxification if you spill some on your clothes. You're not going to get it off. That's because chlor uh, chlor chlorophyll is super sticky, super magnetic. And just like it doesn't come off of your pants if you spill some on your clothes, it won't, uh, it'll stick to minerals and they will, uh, toxic minerals, not, not non-toxic minerals, although if you do them with your nutrients, you may lose some. Uh, but toxic minerals, minerals that are floating around the blood that you want to eliminate, those will stick to chlorophyll. For radiation poisoning, by the way, chlorophyll is so important that the Navy uses it. Algae is a good source of chlorophyll. Green leafy vegetables are a good source of chlorophyll. You don't need straight chlorophyll. Flax fiber can help. Bentonite clay can help. Di diatomaceous earth, one of the all-time great detoxification supplements. Zeolite also. Charcoal. All these can help you clear bromine out of your body if you're going, if you want to do a bromine to uh, detox. And of course, these are all strategies for just general detox. It's a, these are great strategies if you're getting off a drug, if you're getting off a prescription drug and you want to wean yourself off of it, and there's a half-life of the drug that's like months, you may, you may want to consider using chlorophyll and algae and, and zeolite and, and bentonite clay and charcoal. And because we're all getting drugs anyway, we're all being drugged everywhere. We can talk a little bit about fluoride, how we're drugged in our water supply. These are just great strategies for everybody. All right, 844-236-6010 is our number. Got lines open for you. We'll get your calls and uh, get some more good, share some more good health information news stories when we come back from our break. You're listening to The Bright Side. Don't go away. The bright side got lines open 844-236-6010. If you have questions about uh, iodine, bromine, hypothyroidism, hot flashes, adrenal health issues, if you're interest, interested in detoxification, I didn't tell you about the uh, Ultimate Youth. That's another great detox supplement. The Ultimate Youth is a uh, uh, longevity uh, longevity powder that's made with pigments. Pigments, of course, are, are composed at least partially of something called bioflavonoids or flavonoids. We've talked about that in the past. Flavonoids are great chelating agents. You'll get flavonoids in all your produce, fruits and veggies, and eggs. Um, eggs are a good source of, uh, of flavonoids. I think they are, actually. I have to look that up. Probably they are. Eggs are a good source of everything. In any case, uh, you'll get flavonoids in your ultimate youth and also uh, in veggie juices. 
and flavonoids have wonderful chelation properties. Anyway, if you have questions, 844-236-6010. Got some stories here, and then uh, we'll get your phone calls, 844-236-6010. From the Mayo Clinic, exercise changes gut microbial composition independent of diet. How do you like that? Actually, this is from... Uh, this is in conjunction with the Mayo Clinic. This is Dr. Jeffrey Woods, a University of Illinois professor, says these are the first studies to show that exercise can have an effect on your gut independent of diet. I love that idea. We can actually change our, uh, the way we process food, improve the way we process food independent of food. That means exercising, that means mood, that means uh, uh, activating the parasympathetic nervous system. You know, you know why cultures say grace before uh, indigenous cultures and, and religious cultures will always say grace before meals because when you say grace, you activate the parasympathetic nervous system. When you're grateful, you activate the parasympathetic nervous system. Gratitude activates the rest and digest, anti-aging, healing, digestive health nervous system. Exercise does, this, does the same thing, although if you exercise uh, in the short term, exercise will stimulate the sympathetic nervous system. That's kind of a cool idea is that Activation of the sympathetic nervous system in acute, in an acute way, acutely, quickly, followed by long periods of rest and relaxation is the way to maximize the parasympathetic or the rest and digest nervous system or the benefits of the rest and digest nervous system. A little bit of stress and a lot of rest. That's the way the body likes it. A little stress, lots of rest. Acute stress, not long-term stress that never ends. That's the kind of system we've developed. That's the kind of society we've developed in this. Uh, it, it, that's how silly human beings are. That's how silly we all are as human beings. We've created a culture that maximizes stress, maximizes the sympathetic nervous system, maximizes sympathetic activity. Most of us, probably all of us, unless you're a monk or unless you're a long-term meditator, are probably running uh, on sympathetic nervous system energy way more than we need to, way more than we should. Uh, it, 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 way more than we're supposed to be if we're going to be healthy. One of the ways you can tell this is if you're hypothyroid, by the way. The thyroid will slow down when you're running on uh, too much sympathetic nervous system energy, and that is really one of, the, one of, if not the most important reasons why we're so darn hypothyroid in this country. Speaking of thyroid, this is from the journal Nature Medicine. Thyroid hormone therapy heals lung fibrosis. Hmm, how do you like that? Thyroid hormone therapy significantly resolves fibrosis in the lungs of mice, increasing survival from the disease. Well, we talked about why this is. Fibrosis is a sign that the body's breaking down. When you put thyroid into the body, thyroid hormone into the body, or you rev up thyroid, the thyroid, you speed up healing. You decrease wounding. Deficiencies in thyroid can cause fibrosis. Defic thyroid hormone can cause fibrosis, can cause wounding. Fibrosis of the lungs, fibrosis of the liver, fibrosis of the brain, whether you call it Alzheimer's disease or fatty liver disease or, or, or COPD or whatever name you call it, fibrosis is fibrosis is fibrosis. It's behind every health challenge. Fibrosis is a sign of de deteriorating tissue. Deteriorating tissue is behind every long-term health challenge. That's all long-term health challenges are, you guys. Deterioration of tissue that's not being repaired or that's being repaired with fibrosis. Fibrosis being a repair mechanism. Those famous plaques that are in the brain, you don't have to be a... a, a you don't have to follow health news or nutritional news to know that most people know, I think most people know, that Alzheimer's disease, the cause of it, is attributed to plaques, tangles, fibers, so much so that they want to vaccine us again. They want to create vaccines against these fibers. The fibers are just the sign of deteriorating tissue. Tissue deteriorates, it becomes fibrotic, period. It's just common sense. You don't need a doctor, you don't need a medical degree to understand this. So of course thyroid hormone is going to help with lung fibrosis. Now, that's not to say that you want to, if you have pulmonary fibrosis, that you want to go ahead and you know, just supplement with thyroid hormone. You want to figure out why you've got the damage. Usually in the lungs, it's going to be related to smoking. This one's awesome. This one just blew me away. Well, we knew it here. On the, you guys knew it, and I knew it, but it's just awesome to see the medical model finally recognizing this. Type 2 diabetes is not for life. Almost half of the patients with type 2 diabetes, supported by their GPs, of course, their medical doctors, 
on a weight loss program were able to reverse their diabetes in a year. You notice they didn't say cure. They said reverse. This is what I'm always talking about. Nobody cures. God cures. Cures are divine and miraculous and magical. We don't cure. We reverse. I don't need to say cure. When I go on other radio shows, they're always like, oh, you better not say cure. I say, I don't need to say cure. I say reverse. Oh, you better not say that you're going to cure a disease. I don't need to say I'm curing a disease. That's magic. Of course you don't cure a disease. We reverse pathology. Diseases are just names. They're just diagnosis. Pathology is the same thing no matter whether it's happening in the brain and you call it Alzheimer's or whether it's happening in the, in the bone and you call it osteoporosis or wherever. Anyway, type 2 diabetes is not for life. They say weight loss. Well, you need a little bit more than weight loss. They got half patients to reverse. If you do it correctly, 100% will reverse. Because it's not a, uh, diabetes is a verb. It's a, it's a, a happening. We're diabetes-ing. You just stop doing the stimulus, whatever you're doing to diabetes-ing, and you won't be diabetes-ing anymore. It's not like you have diabetes. Our body is in a process of not handling the sugar correctly. So, of course, it's reversible. But I, and we've known it. Dr. Wallach used to get in trouble for saying it. We've known it for... A, a pharmacists knew it. Anybody who understands biochemistry knows it. That's to say your doctor doesn't know it. Anybody who understands biochemistry knows that it's reversible. But it's really nice to see the medical model finally catching on. Yeah, they're catching on, you know? There's they're the new doctors, new research. Because everything we've been talking about here on this program, everything I talk about all the time, and I've been talking about for years, it's just... It's just, if you, if you apply the stuff, you'll see that you'll get results. It works. I mean, I, I don't even say, I used to get letter, I used to save the letters that I got, but I stopped saving them because I don't need to save them. If you follow everything we talk about here on this program, if you follow all the protocols on the, we talk about on this program, you will notice that no matter what your health challenge is, you are feeling better to the degree that you follow the stuff, that you do the stuff we talk about here. Using bentonite clay, getting on a supplement program, Go, backtracking to the thyroid. You guys, this is just basic biochemical sense. Not common sense, maybe, but biochemical sense. Not doctor sense, not clinical chemistry sense. That's a really important point, by the way. The distinction between clinical chemistry and biochemistry. Clinical chemistry is the chemistry of the clinic. Biochemistry is the chemistry of the human being, the biology. Which do you think is more relevant? The chemistry of the clinic or the chemistry of the bio? All right, I'm Pharmacist Benny. 442366010 is our number. We'll be back right after this. We are back on the bright side. Pharmacist Ben here, 844-236-6010 is our number, and we'll get your calls in just a sec, so don't go away if you're on hold. It's with one more uh, article I wanted to read. This is from the Warren Alpert Medical School of Brown University. Researchers dismantle mindfulness intervention to see how each component works. This whole idea of mindfulness is so, so, so important. We want to learn to respond to our environment, not our environment, not react to our environment. We're all reactors. Reactor, reaction, by the way, is a sign that the sympathetic nervous system is kicking in. When you react, when you, work at, when, when you uh, uh, react reflexively to things that happen, this is a sign that you're operating in the, with the sympathetic nervous system. When you respond consciously, this is a sign that your rest and digest nervous system is activated, and this is what mindfulness is about. Mindfulness activates the parasympathetic nervous system. I'm going to say that again. That's so important. Mindfulness activates the parasympathetic nervous system. The way, reason I think it's important is because when we hear mindfulness, many of us, we think airy-fairy. It's not airy-fairy. There's a reason why Johns Hopkins and UCLA Medical School and Brown University are all, are, are all studying mindfulness, focusing on mindfulness as a healing tool. Could it be? that our epidemic of disease is somehow related to our lack of mindfulness, to our, 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 our reflexive way of being, our non-responsive non way of being, but reactive way of being. We function reactively and reflexively because we're in fear all the time. If something promotes fear, turn it off. I call this program the bright side because I didn't want it to have anything to do with fear. Any ra uh, internet program, radio program, television program, movies, 
things you're reading that promote fear, that activate the sympathetic nervous system should be avoided. We want to learn to spend as much time mindful, conscious, aware, breathing, relaxing, parasympathetic as much as possible, especially if you're dealing with a chronic, long-term degenerative disease. Everybody, it's the best anti-aging strategy there is, but especially if you're sick. And guess what drugs do, by the way? And guess what surgeries do? And guess what doctor protocols do? They kick in the sympathetic nervous system just like you're, as badly as if we're, our head was being chopped off by a lion. All right, 844-236-6010 is our number. Let's go to John in Nevada. Good morning, John. What's up, buddy? Good morning, Ben. How you doing? Trucker John, my friend, underwear guy. Okay, is that you, so underwear I have guy? a question. Yes, that I is, am. What's going on, yes, underwear guy? Give your, put well, your website I'm, out. Give your website a plug real quick. Uh, www.theunderwearguy.com. All right, simple. the underwear guy. That's easy. Okay, what's going on, that's underwear fine. guy? Uh, sitting in my truck doing a power pose, getting ready to ask you a question. Nice. nice. Okay, What's the power so, pose? What's the power pose? Uh, my power pose is sitting up straight, shoulders back, kind of my arms and my Love sides it. slightly flexed. <laughs> Love it. Love it. Being Love powerful. It. So I did a, I went on a fast, a uh, six day fast about two weeks ago. And <clears throat> it was real interesting because I never had gone that long. So this was a test of my willpower it was to detoxify myself and just to see how everything went. And then I'm going to get ready maybe to do a 20-day fast. But I, okay. this is kind of a workup. When okay. I got done, um, I ate a couple avocados for my first meal, a little tangy tangerine, and some uh, aloe vera spears. Awesome stuff. A little aloe bit vera of is juice. awesome. Oh, you and ate I the had... spears. Wait a minute. You just chopped up the, 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 the plant in, or the leaf and did the sp- did spears? Exactly. Well, I, I peeled off the skin and took the gel out of it. Okay. Just about a tablespoon was all. Okay. But I, the next day or a couple of days later, I started to get a breakout around my neck, little red spots showing up. Okay. I knew it was somehow food related, but I remember you told somebody about when things break out right around your neckline, it has something to do with, and I couldn't remember what it was you were saying. <laughs> There's a huge concentration of lymph there, <laughs> right where the right where the neck, kind of upper chest area. That's the, that's the lymph. That's where the lymph dumps into the circulatory system, and it, it's a major uh, lymph blood artery uh, cross point. You know, it's a major okay. intersection right there at the at the top of your chest, kind of top of your chest where the neck is, sort of in that whole whole general vicinity. Usually means you've got some kind of lymph problem. Lymph is lymph problem is toxicity, liver digestion, that whole thing, moving the lymph around. Okay. I would I would, but you think it was the aloe? Is that what you're attributing it to? I don't necessarily know. I would attribute well, it to that. Well, I don't know. I was always I just thought about what you always say. Look at what you're eating. Look at the always. digest. Look at the does that food. sound Does that sound like a cop out when I say that? I hope it doesn't because no, really... you know what um it's what it is is you keep reinforcing it so when things do go wrong with me no matter what it is yeah. I, okay i tell myself it has nothing to do with a name it has to do with the triangle of disease that's exactly what i think good for you so that I... makes sense to that whole triangle of disease thing you 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 got you you nailed that thing that makes sense to you yeah, so, so that's yeah. what i start looking at you that's know awesome. okay so good. i fasted so it wasn't food when i fasted what okay, happened when so you fasted? Was, well, you know, I got real focused. Um, okay. You know, people talk. I wanted to see what would happen into fifth, sixth day or so. Would I get spiritual? You know, all these different things you hear yeah. about. What well, happened? Well, basic. I just got really intense, and I got nice. intensely focused, and I was very aware of everything. And you were driving a truck. At the, you're doing driving your truck while you're doing this. Driving so you, the truck, still exercising every day. I wow. jog for three minutes every day. Like I do exactly what you say. Were you a better driver? Do you think you're a better truck driver? When you're oh, focused? absolutely. That's awesome. That's awesome. Because yeah. we have a lot of truckers listening to this program. That's that's really cool. So you when, you're, when you're not eating, yeah. your mind is kind of in a, uh, I don't know, I want to call it a survival mode, not a starvation mode. Yeah, and it's not like you're you suffering. All... Not survival like you're suffering, but survival like all your senses are attuned to survive. Exactly. So yeah. you are so focused on yeah. everything. You're focused on sounds, on sight. Yeah. 
yeah, uh, yeah. on the whole thing. So that's that was awesome, my, John. my experience. That's, that's, that's really primal in the sense that you're like, that's how you would have made it, you know, thousands and thousands of years ago in the, on the African savanna or in the jungle, wherever you were as a humanoid. You would have you would have really appreciated the world in a different way when you were going through that kind of not eating mode. And I, I bet calorie restriction and starvation were probably you know I, I don't know if it makes sense anyway that our, our primitive ancestors went through the, these periods a lot more than we did, and they probably oh, yeah. had a lot more they were attuned to their environment a lot more than we are. Oh yeah, and you hear about it all the time in the Bible. They were following Jesus for three or four days, and Jesus said, "Hey, these people haven't eaten." So, it, you know, it was very common, you know, to just not eat for at least a few days or so. Right. If you didn't. Right. Right. This whole obsession that we have with eating and with calories, it really probably, you know, if av- availability of food was much, much more of a problem than or the inavailability or the lack of availability of food was historically. That's the big problem. It's only been 100 years, 200 years or so that we've had the opposite problem. It's kind of an interesting thing. The turnaround that's taken place instead of starvation being the big problem. It's too much. Too many calories are the problem now. Which is a this is the first time in history, and it, and you can't tell me that it's not there's not a connection between our, our the dis, absolute disastrous state of our health and uh, ingest in terms of chronic long term disease and uh, excess ingestion of calories. If you want to pick one simple thing to do, and you don't have to fast, John. That's great that you're fasting. I'm really impressed by the way uh, that you're appreciating fasting for four or five days. But for people who don't want to fast, you can just restrict your cal limit your calorie. I don't want to say restrict, reduce your calories to like a thousand a day and you'll be way better off than you are by doing two or three thousand calories a day. Did you read that thing about Donald Trump, by the way, about his his food intake, his fast food intake, John? No, I didn't. It it was really interesting. A book just came out. I think I think comes out today, actually. But it was on. uh, They were promoting it. and They were talking about what he what he and his folks ate on, on Air Force One. Not a good thing. Absolutely not good when the, are the leaders of our country, uh, the leaders of the world are in, uh, ingesting 10,000 calories a day, and it's mostly McDonald's. And literally, that's what, according to this book anyway, written it's by that. his former campaign and, manager. Uh, Milana, too, you think? I don't know. She, I don't know if she's doing it, yeah, but... I, I don't. I, I just you know kind of read read it and read the uh, previews from the book on the news, uh, but based on the previews, it really it, it didn't bode well for decision making out of the White House. Whether you, whatever your political stance is, when you read about uh, Donald Trump's diet, at least on at least when he was campaigning, I don't know if it's still that way, but at least when he was campaigning, it doesn't bode well for decision making. And that's another thing is, I wonder how many poor decisions and bad decisions people make in their lives, leaders make in the lives of of, of their followers simply because they're eating McDonald's or eating the wrong foods or nutritionally deficient. John, I got to go. That's the music, buddy. Thank you so much for sharing. Appreciate it. All All right, right, no problem. Take care. Have a great day. Drive carefully out there. All right, that's all the time we have for today. I am Pharmacist Ben. Thanks for listening. Please check out our skin health products at truthtreatments.com. Got free shipping for you for the month of December on all our truth treatment products. Also, we have new trial sizes on our truth serum, truth transdermal C serum, and truth transdermal C balm. And all the longevity products are up at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, criticalhealthnews.com, or you can call 866-735-2470. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Have a wonderful, awesome, beautiful, spectacular day. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now. Thank you.